welcome to the AE Macintosh Cleaning Services channel. Uh, I have here my pressure washing machine. It's a really good idea. Before the spring season, I like to give my pressure washing machine a good service, not just to look after it, but also to get the best performance out of it. There is a good guide in the manual for the pressure washer that tells you how many hours of usage you should get out of it before it requires a service. I find it difficult to measure the amount of use I get out of it in, in hours. So I try and service it over the winter before the spring season when things get busy. machine from dual pumps quite common in the industry runs off uh, Honda GX 390 engine there and there's basically three compartments um, that we need to drain the oil and refill the main engine compartment here which just unscrews there then we have the gearbox here which just has a little window on it there to tell you how what the oil level is in there and then also the pump here which just has a gauge on the end of the machine here so I've got three different types of oil for each of these um, three types of oil so for the engine synthetic 10 w30 oil and then for the gearbox I've got specialist gearbox oil here uh, 80 w90 okay x80 gearbox oil and then for the pump we've got the pump oil here which is 15 w40 okay so there you need to make sure they go in the specific chambers the other thing i'm going to do is change the spark plug um, which is just up here on the machine and i just got a spark plug from my local halfords store if you're not sure what spark plug you need once you've removed the spark plug just take it down the store and get one that's the same that's a good way of doing that you need to make sure you get the same spark plug so I'll just show you quickly how we're going to do it so straight away you can see the difference there between the old spark plug and the nice new spark plug. So you can see why it's a good idea to change it. Not a bad idea just to get a little bit of oil on there. We come around the other side of the machine here to drain the oil out there's just this little screw here which we need to loosen there Bolt here for the gearbox and 
the pump it's this bolt here so once that's all drained out yeah, I've made a bit of a mess there that's why I laid a sheet down underneath but I've got an old scrim always handy which I've just used this adjustable spanner I've sprayed a little WD-40 on that one and this one just to help loosen the bolts so that one I've just loosened there these bolts strictly speaking I think you should replace them with each service whereas I I haven't this time but it's a good idea if you can to replace them so while that's draining Another good idea to check with the service is the air filter here. I'm not changing it this time, but if you just undo that screw there, there's an air filter here. You just undo the screw again and you can replace that. So that's another, that's a good idea to replace that periodically as well. Put the drainage bolts back on and then we'll refill filling it up is pretty straightforward now if you look at this this also acts as the dipstick and the fill level should go between those two notches there and it should also come to the middle of that little window where the yellow spot is in the middle Oh, no, in there. And we'll fill it up nice and slowly. Doesn't take a great deal. And there it is. See the line it's just come above the spot. So. over halfway in the dipstick as well. So getting the oil into the main part of the engine is the trickiest but you have to just keep checking it with the dipstick Way up the dipstick, so we are done. There we go, we're all ready to go, ready for the busy spring season. So, a bit of a messy job, uh, can be a bit of a fiddle, but I think it's a really good idea to be able to maintain and look after your own bits of equipment if you can, saves you on some maintenance costs. And I like to be able to try and understand the bits of kit I'm using so. I can um, do any running repairs myself as well, things like that. Um, so thanks for watching. I hope you found the video helpful. You can check out my playlists. There's loads more on my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.